list what you Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm going to call the meeting to order. We have a quorum. I'll take a motion to approve the agenda in the minutes. So moved. I'll second. I have a motion and a second to approve the agenda in the minutes. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Rich. Morning. Morning. Cruiser out. Two on the end of the corner of the road. Rolls are pretty soft, so we're just going to try to. And but we won't be taking credit. I'll just probably take highways to nearest to the general lot. But anyway, they're out. Two on the end of the water. Um, and uh, working on plans for our. Brush North project and I'll work on 390. We had our letting last Tuesday through the DOT Brush Avenue project. I didn't send you guys out of information. The apparent low bidder is uh, Human Brothers, who were roughly $170,000 lower than Heartland. And then Matthew Construction was below. Other bidder who was only like 15,000 higher than Heartland. So we had some pretty tight bids. Um, we programmed the projects at 1.5 million. We programmed their program the ways out, and you just never know what the prices are going to be. So I programmed 1.5 million for the project. Uh, we have federal aid dollars at $500,000 in there. So we were going to use 1 million of our FM funds. Uh, the bids came in at one point. And, and when I turned the project in for letting, I actually had it estimated at 2.6 million bids came in at 1.9 so thank god my uh, engineer's estimate was high but it is uh higher than what we programmed by you know roughly 399,000 so we'll have a half a million in federal aid our fm match will be 1.4 million the cost per mile is about 243,000 per mile for that kind of work uh the low apparent low bid was 108 1,899,379 so I'm going to use those numbers now to estimate what we're going to have for our local projects that we're going to try to bid here in late March or April. And then we give them, uh, I think the contractors are hungry. I think the asphalt guys don't have a lot of work out there. So hoping that when we do our local bids, we'll get uh, pretty good numbers as well. So I would think you want to be pretty aggressive <clears throat> if they're going to be in, in the area anyways. And they were pretty surprised because they took Mitchell County's project too. Mm -hmm. Okay. By around two hundred thousand, so I mean they were chopping at the bit. So I don't, you know, so I know Heartland's going to be looking for work too. And right. whether or not we get the same contractor, yeah. I mean, the we, next the, the local projects are going to have uh, maybe more miles than what this landing had in it. So it's still going to be a good sized project for anybody that wants bid. So we should get some good numbers. I'm hoping. Sure. I'm hoping. So we'll, we'll know that once I get plans and stuff done. It's been a while since I've done a local letting, so we've got to go through all that. Advertising and notifications, all the hearings, everything else to go with it. But we'll try to streamline that stuff as quick as we can to get going. So um, when I get done here, I'm headed down to the funding for a grant application meeting party. We're going to turn our grant in for a bridge in Mitchell County. So I want to see how that process works because there's going to be more grant opportunities as the as the months and you know, hopefully the years go by and see how we do that stuff. I don't know if we can do things on our own or not, but it doesn't hurt to try if we can. So um, I think that's all I've got. I think um, too, what we're gonna do is I think we may, and then we've talked about this already, we may commit to buying a motor grader. Remember if I talked to you guys last week about the prices, okay. So we may just go with John Deere. We'll have money invested into the payment already by rent. So, was the other one capped? Was there much of a difference? Mm -hmm. Well, there is. But the the cat was a machine that was pre-ordered by somebody else who didn't take it before the price increases. The John Deere was one that they had, and it was after price increases. But also, the John Deere's all-wheel drive, the cat isn't. So there's a little bit of price difference there too. Um, so I think it'll fit in our. We've got one down here already. This one will be a new all-wheel drive. Thank you, Lord. 
because they're not going to be cheaper. You know. And the nice thing is, it's, we can have it, we have it now. We don't have to wait for it. Yeah. So it kind of puts a little bit less pressure on getting the overloads fixed right away. So. Yeah. Anything else, Mark? No. I'll leave it on the back of my head. And so, there's anything else. I think you're good. Thank you, Rich. You guys got my email, my phone. So. Yep. Yep. All right. Have a good week. Good yeah, me too. Yeah, you can call any number. My phone will ring. Drainage slings. Oh, I saw some drainage slings. Let's see. Yeah. I think you're right. Not a good scene. I think it was just in uh, somebody sent a letter to BB72. That's what she, that's all, well, you know, I can see from that already. Mm -hmm. That bid letter. Yeah, bid letter. Mm -hmm. Nothing, no. Mm -hmm. And then there was that other one. There was yeah. a special. Claims. I'll say you're gonna make one. You're making one. <laughs> yeah. I have a motion to second to approve the claims. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed? Motion carries. No. I have it. Just to have it. Oh. Okay, what is this? That's, the special. That's that special one. Yeah. Everybody comes to the stuff that slips through. Any reports? Well, um, oops, one more. No, this is for payroll. Hmm. Motion to approve payroll credits. No, second. I have a motion and second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Liquor license? Uh, we have a manure management plan at the North Sea 3, right? Yep. Yeah. over by you, right? Yep, that's to the west of me. So out there by Knutson. So, so did that used to be Kelso? Nope. No, 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 no. The one out here by the casino. Oh, yeah. That yeah. One's, yep. This one's out by Don Knutson. This one's out by Don Knutson. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. So, so we'll make a motion to acknowledge your manure management plan for North Sea 3. Three, 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 at least North Sea 3. There is. There's a second. I'll second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, board of parents. We got Dan Readers for knowledge of property values for eminent domain. What's that? I sent it to you. Yeah. Uh, yes, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Motion to appoint Dan Reader to eminent domain. And I will second that. We got a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. I'll reach out to Tim Norman Manley this week and see if he's come up with anything for Nyhog. So okay. One more. Oh, and their knowledge needs to be I thought we only needed two in the head. Was it? We got Jerry and now Dan. One more. Okay. Sure. I'll let you guys know. Yeah, let us know. Yeah. Uh is Melissa on? Morning. Morning. Um, everything for this week, uh, the main thing is, is we just have a Port Authority meeting on Thursday. It'll be short and sweet. It's just, it's a Zoom meeting, um, just to go over the annual report to the state. Thanks for the reminder. 
You bet. <laughs> I'll send out an email reminder to everybody too. I'm sure it's in my calendar. So. <laughs> right. Other than Thank that, you. I don't have uh, too much planned for this week except for working on a um, RFP from the state. Okay, sounds so. exciting. Anything else for Melissa? Thank you, Melissa. You bet. Uh, EMS continued. Can back up quick. Sorry, yeah. I have a post approval on a, on a um, salary change, which I thought we talked about this enough, but apparently not. Um, so it's already on this payroll or the payroll that we just have. So this is for Lexi Anderson from RN for public health. She took her board or whatever. Oh, okay. So she and has, has it been approved by your board yet? I'm just trying to remember. Yeah. And I imagine that's the way it was. She had to get it. Yeah. So I mean, I know it's a timing thing, but it's supposed to go through here before anybody gets a flyer. Right. So they so put I, us in a bad situation when it so we need a motion to approve a salary change for Lexi Anderson. I will move that. I'll second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. For sure. Now do I have to sign this thing any place? Yeah. For the higher than Yeah. For the... So maybe it was technically already agreed to. Yes. There you go. <laughs> now we're back to EMS discussion. I guess we, we all showed up to the Farm Bureau meeting. Uh, it was a very good meeting, a lot of input. Um, a lot, there's trustees there, everybody. I got a question. I saw one mayor and two council members from Northwood. Were there any other representatives from any other rest of the six cities in North County there? No. The only ones I saw would have been Northwood. Uh, Manly had their meeting that night, so I knew. Was Manly, I knew had a meeting, but they, I still thought, it's time to get the cities involved in this. Yeah. Yeah, though they got yeah. they got notification. I have no problem using ARP money down the road for this, yeah. but if we designate money for it now and they don't get involved, we're going to be doing this in ten months all over again. And we won't have money. We're just doing one year band aid or ten. 10 yeah, that's all we're doing is a band aid. So right. No, and the, the we need to continue to to talk with them or. Let them let it be known that they need to, to probably get in this and participate as well. So, um, yeah, we do need to keep chatting with those people. So, I'll reach out to them. I've got a meeting coming up with my trustees and on the Manly Fire Department. So, um, and we have represent or we have a Manly account that's on that board. So, I'll start bringing this up to them and I'll bring it up to Tim. I talked to him. So, I reached out to the trustees for Grove and Hartland, and they were at the meeting, mm -hmm. and uh, they kind of got to make a decision on what they want to do. Have you reached out to? I have, you yeah, had a lot more Joyce than the rest there. of us. I mean, Joyce, yeah, Joyce was there. Yeah. Not the I think I think their departments have been reaching out to their trustees because yeah. I I called pretty I called every department and basically said reach out to your trustees that or that you work with on your department now and, and try to get them there if they're available. So then they got to make a decision on which way they want to go, but also they need to sit down with us and. Or in front of it. There you go. Well, hey, man. Forest City reached out to the cities, maybe? Uh, if it did, it would be just a notification, but I didn't. I don't believe so. I think they just reached out to the county from what mm -hmm. way I understand it. So, you know, we, so far, everybody reached county, out to the county. I mean, it was presented as a county wide. I mean, it's the, at the time, yeah. But now it's, it's, it's going a different direction. So, I mean, it's, the funding source is going to go a different direction, too. Yeah, I just, mm -hmm. it's time for them to get involved. Oh. At least put their input into it. Right. So that's about all I got to say on that. Yeah, they dollars. Yep. They brainstorm a whole bunch of people, figure out how this is going to work. Right. So, well, that's all I've got on EMS. Yeah, I'm just, just, it's developing yet. So, gotcha. And budget's just on there, right? I'm, yeah, I'm almost on with valuations so that we can go back and budget. 
and the legislature came through on the multi-residential and the residential and backed it up till April 30th and all that. I read that. So but yeah, yeah I don't want to get them here and there. No, if no. we got if we got one more thing, if we gotta have one more workshop just to make sure we're good. Let's do it. Let's get it out. Let's yeah. not wait till yes. April 30th. No, no. Yep. Let, let us know. know. Yeah, no, no. I mean just tell us if we if we need to come back. You got your plate. Yeah. Tell us if we need to come back and auditors are coming this week too. Oh, I guess we'll, I guess we'll wait a week on that. Then. <laughs> wait yeah, so. I, that has to be done by March 31st. So I was I'm kind of glad they were coming earlier, but yeah, it just all fits at the same time. So, all right, uh, Chris, I think that's my report. Any questions? I don't. I don't have any. Going good out there, I'm assuming. Everything's going good. It's just the wastewater plant doesn't like the computer, doesn't like the hot cold, hot cold, and kicks in. It's like yeah. a PO mode, typically running it and then kicks it in a time mode, then we just got to change it for me. So oh, it's a wire somewhere that must. I don't know if it loses connection when it gets, but every time hot cold, hot cold, it changes it, but it's a, a minor PO. It just it runs on time instead of what the actual PO value in the water. It just pumps more air in there, is all it is. Doesn't change the trigger at all. Just a computer issue. Just gonna set it stiff. Just to make, make a manual change when you get to change in the morning. And it's you know, it's good till next time it gets either warm again or cold again. Mm -hmm. No, I don't no. Okay. Okay, thank you, Chris. Yep. Uh department had discussions. Only thing I have is I talked to each one of you on that car that came in, the two cars that came in, and they were going to hold the one. So I've talked to Jackie too, and we're just going to do a budget amendment, move that one forward, and take one off of next year's because availability just isn't out there. And I was thinking too about next year, we can just back off your um, allocation by that Okay. We got to do that. I mean, we're waiting six months to a year or for cars. And then we get them, or they call you in six months and say, oh, it's going to be a third year. Where's my going to get them? Mm -hmm. yeah, you got to take them when you can, I guess. That's my attitude. Mm -hmm. Different world within it. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen anybody out there. So, uh, Supervisor Weekly, uh, we have a Farm Bureau meeting. And the assessor budget meeting. I also noticed there's no mayor's attack. <laughs> there's no on mayors Zoom. today. <laughs> was there one on Zoom? Or no? no, there wasn't. So, what do you have? Same as you did. <laughs> AJ, do you have anything extra? I don't believe so. So I'm just double checking. No, I, that's all I had too. So this week's this week's a busier one. So okay. Uh, next week's agenda items. Everything looks good to me. Hey, Melissa, if you're still on there. Did you ever get a time and date nailed down for a legislative forum? Oh, yes. Uh, March 3rd, Friday at 10 a.m. in the Manly City Hall, and it'll just be Jean. Okay. I just, we have it on our thing, but we didn't have a time. Or I knew it was going to be a manly, we just didn't have time yet. So, okay. 10 a.m. Yep. Manly City Hall. Thank you. Thank you. Well, if there's no changes, I'll take a motion to adjourn. So second. I have a motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Meeting adjourned. <laughs>